Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your June. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Scorpio. Scorpio, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Scorpio, this is for you. We're going to see how this person feels about you and if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Okay, so somebody is trying to call you in. Somebody is trying to manifest you in their reality. And I feel like this is somebody that is catching feelings for you, has feelings for you. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Uh, could potentially be mutual here, but they're trying to um, get into your energy. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So they're praying about it. They're doing meditations, uh, visualizing the two of you together, visualizing the two of you being intimate, fantasizing about you. They're visualizing conversations that they want to have with you. Um, they could be lighting candles. Some of them could be doing a little bit of spell work, but they are trying to pull you into them. All right, very strong law of attraction card here. So... Um, they're feeling you, Scorpio. Let's see where this is going. All right. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? If this resonates with you, Scorpio, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Scorpio, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. All Please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Okay. Definitely could be some traveling here. All right. All right, so I see what's going on here. <clears throat> there are definitely feelings involved. Um, they, I feel like there was an ending here between you and this person, and they're trying to call you into them. I feel like this person has tried to talk to you, and um, they, they were preventing, prevented from doing so. Um, miscommunication. I feel like there could have been some betrayal here and they feel you moving on from this, but I feel they may travel to where you are at. Your energy is still on them and I feel like that's vice versa. I feel like their energy is still on you a little bit. Um, they're just waiting. They're waiting. Um, they, they want you back. That's true. Um, but they it's like they're at a loss there's not a lot that they can do but sit there and try to pray about it meditate on it visualize the two of you together fantasize about the two of you together try to pull your energy back into them get inside of your head because when a person is concentrating on you so hard um chances are you're going to think about them too um but you're trying very your hardest to move on from them. There's a lot of drama. Maybe some unexpected information you found out about this person that really hurt you here, Scorpio, and kind of tore up the happy situation. They do want to fix it. I feel like they have tried to talk to you, tried to be real with you, unexpected communication coming your way, and it was, it was blocked. Um, so they feel you moving away from them. 
with the Six of Swords. And now, not only is there physical distance between the two of you, but emotional as well. So you could be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. They still feel guided towards you. They still feel this is a soulmate. Um, spiritual connection with the lover's card here. They, they want you to be open. They want you to follow your heart. They feel, they, they know, they think, let me rephrase. They think that you still feel something for them. And maybe some of you do, but you're so hurt right now. You're blocking them. You're blocking it. They want you to follow your heart um, and, and speak to them and speak to them. They're just waiting. They're just waiting right now. They have apologies for you. I feel like this person's tried to apologize to you, um, but it didn't necessarily work here. But they do regret what they did. Maybe they're waiting for your response. Maybe they're waiting in vain, Scorpio. Um, so um, I don't know if they tried to... Um, text you, call you, um, I don't know if they, and maybe, you know, maybe they still will do that, um, or even write a letter, put it in the mail, some sort of communication, apology, they're trying to get to you, and I feel like it was blocked, it was prevented, there was no response, they were met with silence, and now they, they don't know what to do. So they feel you setting yourself free from them. Um, they know whatever happened here, you felt very, you felt betrayed and you felt like a fool. Um, and they are very much aware of that. Um, so I, they feel you moving on and freeing yourself of this situation. Uh, they, I feel, will continue to take risks here. And... Um, I feel like they there was this they tried to apologize they tried to apologize then they wait but I feel like they're going to do it again and right here um, with this card you see how open you see how open and vulnerable this person is um, this is how they want you to be they still want you to be open uh, with your heart towards them but right now that's a definite no so it's almost like they're waiting for you to kind of soften towards them. Um, and they're trying to communicate their regret to you. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, it is a general reading. So they may get to the point where um, they show up where you are at to have like a face-to-face -face conversation. If you're not moving towards, if you're not receptive to any of their communication or any of their offers or apologies, um, there's various ways that they're trying to get uh, this communication of regret to you, um, but you're just, you're not responding. And it is, it's very truthful here. They know they hurt you. Um, th there was betrayal here and, and you feel like you were stabbed in the back and made a fool of Scorpio with this 10 of swords. So they know they ruined a good thing. They know they messed everything up. And this is the good thing that the two of you either had a commitment or were well on your way to that. Um, so four of wands, this is putting down roots. This is celebrating. This is, you know, joy. This is, um, commitment. Um, so now they wait. So now they wait. They still want to continue to put time, energy, and effort into the situation. They still want success here. They're not giving up on this. They're, they try to communicate with you, and then they go silent for a while, and while they are silent, waiting for you to respond to them, they manifest. 
they manifest and they manifest and they try to call you back into their reality. So one way or another, they're still working it, um, Scorpio. And they, they, they're not ready to give up on this just yet. So you could be dealing with another water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart, male or female, doesn't matter. This, I feel, is you, right? Because you are water, Scorpio. King of Cups energy, male or female, does not matter. I feel like you have the upper hand in the situation, and they know that. Um, I feel like you are the more emotionally advanced one here. It's like they... You know, they just, they just, I feel like that you, you were taken for granted and they did not know exactly what you were capable of. They didn't know that you were capable of moving on from them and going completely silent on them, but you are trying to elevate and move on, um, they, on the other hand, um, and you're very intuitive as well with this King of Cups energy. They, on the other hand, they need to elevate to your level here because um, whatever they did, I feel it was it's a huge lesson for both of you, but definitely for them because they lost they lost a really good thing here, Scorpio. So here comes the truth with this Ace of Swords. Um, a lot of clarity, a lot of communication. They're going to get it to you one way or another. Um, they still want a victory here, and they're not going to give up until they win you back. So they're not going to give up on this. Um, now, I feel like if you do end up talking to this person, your words could be very sharp uh, with this Ace of Swords. So... Um, you're the one that is in control here though definitely of communication you're the one that has the power scorpio so let's and see here it is the devil some of them may have brought third party into the equation um but whatever toxicity this is it it hurts you whatever toxicity they brought to the table um brought to your doorstep it absolutely it just I don't even know if you feel the same about this person, but this person is quite obsessed with you. Now you could be, <clears throat> excuse me, dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. Um, this is, you know, the list of toxicity goes on and on. There's jealousy, there's obsession, there's third party, there's addiction, there's all these different things. So whatever is specific to your situation, but what I see with this person is they're not, they're not going to give up on this. They are not going to give up on this and they still feel bound to you and they want you bound to them. All right. So just be aware of that, Scorpio. Any more information in regards to um, how this person is feeling about Scorpio and what actions they will take towards Scorpio? Yeah. It's a very difficult situation. And as as they're not giving up on it, they still as much as they're not giving up, you are it's equally defensive and standing your ground as well. So I feel like they feel you are releasing them. They themselves are having a hard time letting you go. Ten of wands that is fire energy you're just really you're exhausted um so this person still trying to be in your energy trying to control you could be dealing with an aries or somebody with strong aries in their chart and i feel like what you are doing and what they are worried about you are doing is looking at other options um but this is them trying to see it gets so emotionally confusing sometimes for you because you truly did care about this person. Um, and, and maybe, you know, you still have feelings for them, but whatever they did, it really, 
I just don't feel like there's a, a going back for a lot of you, but some of you there may be, but man, it, it really hurts you. They really hurt you. So this person is uh, afraid that you are opening doors to newer energies, um, other energies, other people. You, you are exploring other options and that, you know, that hurts them. Um, but they, they do have this fear of that. And, that. and a lot of you very well may be. So I feel like Scorpio, you're not going to give up until you get a, a happy commitment, a beautiful, joyous commitment here. But is it with this person? That's what you're going to have to ask yourself. So they're not giving up until they win you back. Um, you are most definitely on defense and standing your ground here in regards to this person. So <clears throat> they are stubborn. You are stubborn. So it's who's got the power, who's going to win. It's, it's going to be you because you're trying to be the, mo the more emotionally mature one. I've, it's like, you know what you're saying, you know, you did what you did. And I've said all the things that I need to say. We don't need to keep revisiting this. A lot of you wish this person would, you know, just move on, <clears throat> excuse me, but they are obsessed with you, Scorpio. They are very obsessed, so they wait. They try to contact, no response, and then they wait. This is two cards of waiting. So this is you turning your back on them, and there's, they're waiting for you to, to turn around and see them. And pay attention to them again and, and uh, invite them back into your life. But I see you looking out into the future and maybe you got other options here, Scorpio. So you are, and they see you as being very strong here. You know, I mean, your emotions for this person can't just, you know, you can't just shut them off like a light switch. Um, so it's like you're being the more emotionally mature, the more emotionally reserved, holding back, trying to be strong here. Um, and they know that this is why they wish that you would just kind of let it go, go with the flow, um, let them back in and, and not, it's, just, it's a battle of wills going on right now. They're, they are not giving up and you are not giving up resisting them. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. All right, Scorpio. So I do feel like they're going to be coming back around, trying again. They can't shake you. Um, yet at the same time, they are learning that they can't control you. Um, so very difficult situation here. Some of you may want this person back into your space. Some of you are moving on to other options. But bottom line with this reading is they are not giving up. They will do whatever it takes. Um, praying, affirmations, visualizations, fantasizing, law of attraction, spell work, lighting camp, doing doing whatever it takes to try to win you back. But your resistance game is very strong right now. All right, Scorpio, that's what we've got. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. For those new to the channel, welcome. I have a weekly schedule, a live schedule. All that can be found down below in the description box. You can see when your weekly reading will be released. And um, next week, Scorpio, I'll be working on the mid-month readings. So check those out. You guys have a great week and you take very good care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.